Let's take a look at cell differentiation. We know that multicellular organisms are made up of many different types of cells. We've got, for example, hair cells, eye cells, skin cells, bone cells, and let's take the last one, heart cells. And the question is, how do these cells become different from each other? The important thing to remember is that multicellular organisms contain many genes. And every single cell in this multicellular organism contains all the genes of that organism. Let's say I could represent all the genes of this organism using a cross. So this cross represents all the genes of this entire organism. And remember that genes encode for proteins. And proteins affect the function and structure of cells. And so if we take three different cells from the same organism, let's say an eye cell, a heart cell, and a hair cell. Each cell will contain all the genes of that organism. And so let's say this organism had 10 genes. Each one of these cells would have the 10 genes. What is important though is that not all of these genes will be activated. So let's say in our first cell gene 2 and gene 3 are activated. In our second cell gene 4 and gene 6 are activated. And in our last cell gene 1 and gene 5 are activated. This means our first cell will encode for proteins 2 and 3. Proteins 2 and 3 will affect the structure and the function of the cell, and so this cell will become an eye cell. If we look at our heart cell, gene 4 and gene 6 are activated, which will lead to proteins 4 and six. Proteins four and six will affect the structure and the function of the cell and this will lead to a heart cell. And finally in our last cell gene one and gene five will code for protein one and five. Proteins one and five will affect the structure and the function of the cell and so this cell will become a hair cell. And so remember, it is the expression of certain genes which allow cells to develop in different ways. This is called cell differentiation. Let's take a real life example which you can use in your exams. Keratin is a protein that is found in hair and it affects the structure of hair. And so remember that each one of our cells contains the keratin gene. But not all of our cells will express this gene. In our eye cell, the keratin gene will not be expressed. And so our eye cell will not produce the protein keratin. The same goes for our heart cell. Even though our heart cell has the keratin gene, it will not be expressed. So once again, this cell will not produce keratin. Now hair cell, on the other hand, their keratin gene will be expressed. And so this cell will produce keratin. And this keratin protein will affect the function and structure of this cell. And so the important thing to remember is that all the cells in a specific organism contain all the genes of that organism. However, not all of them will be expressed. Gene expression is regulated during transcription and it is the expression of certain genes which allow cells to differentiate. 
And so this means that multicellular organisms have a huge advantage compared to unicellular organisms. The unicellular organism has to carry out all of its functions within this one cell. A multicellular organism, on the other hand, has cells that can differentiate. And this means that these cells can specialize according to their function. This is what makes a multicellular organism so efficient.